What is going on, YouTube Verse? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another top five on this glorious Top Five Friday. And I'm so excited to be talking to you about Donovan, an artist that I can't believe I haven't gotten to yet on my Top Five series because. I absolutely love his music, especially from the late 60s. He came on the scene in the mid 60s as kind of a folky troubadour, uh, but he got more and more psychedelic as time would go on and really innovative in a lot of his music. Um, I don't know how, he, he's really kind of underrated in my opinion, and this was really hard to whittle down, but I think I did it. So here are my personal favorite top five songs of his, starting with number five. Hurdy Gurdy Man, such a cool and kind of creepy tune that uh, later it would be picked up upon uh, with that fact and used to great effect in the film Zodiac. It was kind of like the Zodiac Killers theme song almost in the movie, but I'm sure Donovan didn't have that in mind since, of course, in the chorus he's saying the Hurdy Gurdy Man singing songs of love. Even though it goes into these minor chord changes, and uh, it gets very heavy and very psychedelic on the choruses. Uh, and what really makes it heavy and cool is the drumming, which is like off the charts, and the lead guitar playing, which I don't think is Jimmy Page on this track, but he did play on a lot of Donovan's uh, songs as a session artist. Uh, John Paul Jones, though, I think was involved in this one. This was all pre-Led Zeppelin that a lot of that overlap was happening in the 60s. Really cool when you uh, go back and look at it, but this is just such a cool song that has like this vibrating effect on both the flute that opens up the song and Donovan's vocal as well. And it gives it this kind of just unusual effect that uh, I think really stands out and uh, is just a fantastic track. And that's just at my number five. So now at number four. There is a mountain. This is such a fun song. Another one that features the flute as a main instrument, but uh, this one a little bit more acoustic. It's got some really kind of um, I want to say Latin percussion, but I could be wrong on that, but it's got this great groove to it and it's just so ridiculous in its lyrics uh, saying, first there is a mountain, then there is no mountain, then there is. It just puts a smile on my face every time I hear it because I'm like, what does this even mean? And I think it's actually, he's. Uh, I know he went with the Beatles on their trip. Uh, to India, and well, I don't know if this song in particular was influenced by that, but I know that uh, I read something that that has to do with some kind of, you know, Eastern uh, religious beliefs, but um, I, I still just think it's hilarious, especially in his vocal delivery. And there's some guy in the background going, that's right. And it's just so fun and funny, uh, but also just a fun song to listen to. So I had to have it on my list. That's just at my number four. So now at number three, Atlantis from the album Barabba Jaggle, which uh, is another great song that didn't quite make my list, but uh, this album is full of these kind of fictional tales that many of uh, you, you know of us know well. This one, of course, being about that uh, fabled uh, city under the sea and it's a full-blown Donovan just talking through most of the song, telling this story of how it happened and these different characters. But then, you know, about halfway through the song, it kicks in with this huge sounding piano and drums and that great chorus, way down below the ocean. And of course, again, Donovan's uh, music used a great effect in a classic scene in the movie Goodfellas when all of a sudden Tommy, uh, instead of getting his shine box, decides to, you know, beat the hell out of this guy and then eventually kill him. Uh, so again, for some reason, Donovan's feel-good music uh, turned upside down and used in a violent way. Uh, but hey, what can you do? Uh, it's a great, great song, no matter what it's used for, uh, that chorus can just go on and on forever for all I'm concerned. It is just awesome. And that's just my number three. So now at number two. <music> 
Sunshine Superman, the title track from that album. And this, I think, is one of the songs that really put Donovan on the map as far as, you know, taking him into the, the world of psychedelia and a little bit more poppy. I believe this one does feature Jimmy Page on guitar, and it's so cool how he has that sort of slide effect. It's like this, wow, 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 now, and it's just it's such a great melody, you know. Uh, Sunshine came softly through my window today, and it, it's so simple. But it just gets stuck in your head and, you know, it's, it's great with that kind of harpsichord uh, keyboard in there. It's just, uh, it, it's brilliant and it's so fun and it's so great. So that's my number two. Now at number one. Season of the Witch, uh, also from the Sunshine Superman album. I think this track is just brilliant in every way. Uh, very simple. I think it's only uh, essentially three chords, the whole song. But there's just something about the how the bass riff leads the song in a way. And... Uh, you know, these very strange lyrics of rabbits running in the ditch and, oh no, it's the season of the witch. Uh, but just the way it builds up, uh, again, Jimmy Page on lead guitar on this one, giving it a, an edge. Um, this was used, I believe, in several movies to great effect, but uh, it's just one that really when you close your eyes, you can just envision these things, uh, you know, just starting with him saying, when I look out my window, uh, so weird the way he sings it. Uh, it's just got so much innovation and creativity just oozing out of this song. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an absolute favorite of mine and my favorite Donovan song. So let me know in the comments below, what would your top five Donovan songs be? There are so many great ones and I wish I had, you know, fit some of his more folky stuff that he started out with, like Colors or Catch the Wind. He had so many great uh, kind of stripped back acoustic songs, but I feel like these are just the cream of the crop, so I had to go with those. But let me know if you're so bold, leave me a top 10, and uh, let me know what you think. And guys, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews, big countdowns, and so much more. Thank you for watching, and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.